Lauren of Blue Stocking Books and I do walking bookshop tours in London. Um, while the bookshops have been closed, I've really missed them and I'm so glad that they're starting to reopen. Uh, now that they're reopening, I'd like to visit a few and take people along using videos who might not be able to come to London for a tour to visit bookshops yet. amount of books today and I'm very excited to be here on Charing Cross Road with the masked bookseller. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Gillian McMullen and I own any amount of books on Charing Cross Road um, which has been here since the 1980s under um, Nigel Bowood, the original founder of the shop. So there aren't that many uh, women-owned bookshop businesses in London. I mean I can I think I can name them all, so yes. there can't be that many. No. Um, what was that like for you, making that purchase and after having worked here for so long to be able to do that? Well, it was a huge thing. It was something I'd often thought about, but I wasn't really thinking that it would happen. Um, no, it, it's, it's fantastic. I just enjoy being in central London, working in central London. I enjoy going out and buying books. What is it about being on Charing Cross Road that, that's important? The, the, the theatres, the galleries, the opera houses, um, and the shopping, obviously, um, and the history, the people, the, the, the history of London that people come for. So they're coming here all the time for all these different things. I mean, you know, that that's, that's what there was, and that's what there still is. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just waiting for it all to come back. Exactly. 20 years ago, it was, you know, the book and then the film were a, were a huge draw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And people would come in and say, where is 84 Chang Cross Road? Oh, are you 84 Chang Cross Or oh, isn't there a film about this shop? Which was always very nice. <laughs> very know. tempting to, to give them the wink, and sure it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of course it is, but not many people know that. Or something like that, yes. You know, so, so now, of course, it's a McDonald's. Well, I suppose the business model is really to... Um, uh, it's to be a general bookshop. Mm -hmm. It's to have something for everybody. Um, and it's to have, you know, some some great books, some more expensive books, and some, you know, and, and plenty of things for people who are just dropping by and just want to buy something. So they might want to just buy a memento of Charing Cross Road. Mm -hmm. They're really the special yes. things because yes. you've been, you do a lot of buying from, from what, estates? or That's right, yes. That's mostly where books come, where books come from. Right, so they're unusual things. It's not the Oxfam stock. And so when you come in here and you spend a pound or five pounds or 20 pounds, you're getting something really interesting. People come out with giant, you know, art illustrated books that they're amazed they can get. They come mm. out with old magazines um, with, you know, or somebody who knows, oh, my God, I love all those Persephone books. They come in here and they buy actually mm. old editions of those authors. Are and those, they're yes. thrilled. People leave with like 20 books. So exciting. These things are findable yes and i think yes. here here you get the feeling you can pretend to be a bookseller you can come to any amount of books and look through this huge range of books and and pick out the ones that appeal to you and i think that's really you know great that's great what's fun really that's what it's about the sport yes. there you exactly. go the sport of book exactly. buying i love your sign did you guys do that did you with the with the penguin and the... The, that one michael did yes oh, absolutely. fantastic yes, distancing i know it's nice we wanted something that was a bit like, yeah read more it's it's friendly it's, it's bookie yeah yes. yeah i mean i'm i'm still very fond of the woman who i wrote um <clears throat> my master's dissertation on margaret Oliphant. during lockdown i read um you know, why be normal? Why be happy when you could be normal? <laughs> which I'm sure I've read before. But anyway, there's a sort of incident in that, and which becomes a, a sort of theme when she's um when she's growing up. Uh, she reads everything in the library from A to Z. Oh <clears throat> wow! Um, this is Jeanette Woodson, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, so she gets to O, and it's Margaret Oliphant, Mrs. Mrs. Oliphant, right, right, Mrs. Mrs. Oliphant. Yeah, Mrs. nobody Oliphant. knows her first name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and she's told by her school teacher, you can't, you know, you can't read books A to Z because Mrs. Oliphant is not literature. 
Robert <laughs> was, well, Mrs. Margaret Robert was was very much a writer uh, in a, in a kind of um, in a um, uh, you know a, sc a school of women writers who wrote for money. <laughs> Jill also shared a lot of wonderful books with me. I'm not going to be able to tell all the stories here, but I did want to show some pictures. And they included uh, recent acquisitions of different collections. Um, so the Gay Hazar, which is a landmark uh, restaurant in Soho, a collection from them. A really interesting signed Barrel Bainbridge a collection from Faber and Faber and, and Editor's Collection, I believe, and more. So I'm going to leave you with those books. I hope that you'll be able to come into any amount of books now while um, things are still relatively quiet in central London or take a look at their website so anyamountofbooks.com and I hope you've really enjoyed this peek inside of a London bookshop. Bye-bye.